Yo, what's going on? It's Frankie Noble, Top Spot USA, and you are tuned to TSUSA Radio. On the show today, we have Forever Came Calling. Now, they got a new album called Contender out July 24th, and they describe themselves as an emo band with a punk beat. So... SoCal pop punk band Forever Came Calling have been generating some major buzz through tireless months of relentless touring. But who is FCC and what makes them different? Lead singer Joe Candelaria and the guys explain. Emo with the punk beat. 2003 to 2005, like just early 2000s in general, like that is the music that shaped, like I think who will always be like, we sound like a, kind of like a Long Island band, which is really weird because we're from the middle of nowhere in California. But I think that's something that we hear a lot of is a lot of like uh, Taking Back Sunday, like brand new comparisons, which is totally tight. Those are some of my favorite bands. But I also think like we do it a lot faster. Bryce only listens to fat records, discography, so everything's still punk beat. And if you see us live, it's even faster, which is kind of really fucks us up, but it's cool. <laughs> After releasing a well received split EP with their friends in handguns, Forever Came Calling is now gearing up for a busy summer as they are set to debut their Pure Noise Records full length called Contender, which is set to drop July 24th. We, uh, we met Jake Brown like the summer of 2010. We followed uh, Vans Warped Tour, like selling our CD, and he was like one of the few people that we met that worked there for real. Like he was working for Rise Records at the time, and uh, he like, I think Pure Noise had just like had started the winter before that, right? Winter yeah, before that. Really yeah, one or two releases. And he just like we were just as like friends with them. And that summer we started working with a band called Handgun, which is like our best friend. Like we saw it with them, like we kind of kept in touch. And Jake from Handguns was like, yo, like FCC is like the band you should be checking out. You know, like we kind of like built up like this cool relationship on a friendship. And then we started showing him new stuff. And he was like, this is tight. Like let's work together. I think we're all really excited. We uh, hate talking about it like this because I feel like every band says it, but. It's the best thing we've done, and it's like the first time that like I personally have like stood back and been like, wow, like I'm really proud of like what we did there. This band's get out there and do it spirit just so happened to put them in the right place at the right time and landed them in the Vans Warp Tour documentary, No Room for Rock Stars. Joe talks about the experience. That, that's been a really cool experience. Uh, Paris Patton, um, the dude that directed it, is a great friend of ours. Like, well, after the movie, not like with some weird meeting. Um, you, like, you see how we meet him in the movie, and at first it was just kind of weird because there was someone in your van that you didn't know, like, riding around with you, like, following you with the camera, and it's like, this is weird. But the more that we got to know him, he's just a dude like us, and it was a really cool experience. We got to do some really cool things that, like, we might not have been able to do otherwise, namely play with the Jinx Mate, which is badass. That band is fucking amazing. It's cool to be on tour and doing what you love, but it's even cooler when your friends actually know of the bands you're touring with. We'll go down Poplin Heights when we first like started hearing about it. We all got really excited. Um, it was kind of cool to like talk to our friends back home, like, hey, like we're going on tour with a band you actually know. Like, but that's kind of different. Like, usually it's like, you know what I mean? Like, you just like, oh, we're going out with uh, handguns. And American Standard, like, word. <laughs> Tight, like, <laughs> who are they? But, like, you go to, like, a 16, you're like, oh, cool, I love handguns, you know, I love the American scene, but people are age, it's like Hopper and Heights, like, yeah, I'm mean, gonna we'll get super fucked up at your show and, like, sing along. <laughs> it's like, where you get it? So, we do that for six weeks, which we're all really excited about. <clears throat> and then we go into With the Punches and a State Champs tour, sponsored by Property of Zach, and uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of. We have to see a lot of places that we haven't seen in a little bit, so I'm excited about that. We'd like to thank Forever Came Calling for joining us on this episode of TSUSA Radio. Make sure to listen to their album Contender, which will be out on Pure Noise Records July 24th. For everything else FCC, just visit Facebook.com slash Forever Came Calling. For more interviews like this, you got to tune in to TopSpotUSA.com every Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to catch our latest episode because there's more music out there. We're Forever Came Calling and you're turning to Top Spot USA!